You know, we're not only dealing with a physical health crisis right now, we're also dealing with a lot of stress. And one of the distractions usually for most of us is sports. The shrimp, they were supposed to take the field in two weeks. Today was supposed to be the opening day in the majors. But right now, as you know, all seasons are on hold because of the coronavirus. So Troy Kless is on your side tonight speaking with a local high school coach with a look at how he's trying to keep his students positive. From the major and minor leagues to local ballparks, sports are shut down due to coronavirus concerns. People around the game are trying to stay positive and do creative things, whether it's practicing or watching their favorite game at home. The brakes were put on baseball. We actually were halfway to uh, Lake City when we could turn around and come back to Ridgeview. John Scromolo is the athletic director and head baseball coach at Ridgeview High School. He's using Twitter to celebrate seniors whose last season is on hold. You know, really just trying to, to keep them uh, excited and, and make sure that, you know, they know that they're important to us and, and we want them back on the field. Off the field, teams at all levels are doing things to help those directly impacted by COVID-19. Local teams like the Icemen and Jumbo Shrimp asking fans to support local sponsors. Alan Verlander, a sports marketing executive, says these changes because of coronavirus will have a trickle-down effect in the present and future. So I think that's something that um, you know we're really going to have to focus on as, as a sports um, you know, tourism society and sports world is uh, doing something for those fans that will allow them to attend our games but may not have the uh, financial capacity that they once had. But no matter the level of competition, people like Scromolo feel this is bigger than sports and it's important to take a pause so teams can play once again. It's, you know, this is an uncertain time, but we still have opportunity. I mean, we wake up every day. It's a beautiful day. We're blessed to, uh, to not be in too dire straits right now. My message is this, keep getting better. Troy Kless, First Coast News, on your side.